first down to miss the game. We start at the decimal, to the left we move. Each place is ten times bigger, multiply them and we prove. The digits, the digits, they fit in so tight. Greater to the left and lesser to the right. Starting at the decimal, sandwich in between. Zeros hold up empty places, haven't you seen it? Well, the digits, the digits, each one means a lot. You can't leave them out of the place value spot. Well, reading big numbers, each comma's a word. Thousand million billion commas, haven't you heard? Thousands. This is Mary McInnes, and here's a culmination of math lessons that I produce for second grade. This unit is not just an ordinary set of math lessons, but it incorporates Bloom's taxonomy and Howard Gardner's multiple intelligences theory. It also utilizes a variety of technology tools that students can benefit from for all learning styles that are represented in the classroom. Gone are the days of exclusive direct instruction where students are merely passive recipients of boring lectures. At the end of this unit, students will be able to count objects in groups of twos, fives, and tens, later working mainly with groups of tens. They will be able to make representations of two-digit numbers and relate the representation to the written numeral. They'll also be able to count fluently by tens from any number from 10 through 90, mentally add 10 or subtract 10 from any number 10 through 99, and eventually students will progress to larger numbers, counting by tens from any given number to 999. They'll also be able to add or subtract 10 from any given number to solve story problems. You will be witnessing just some of the ways students can get excited and motivated to learn curriculum by applying multiple intelligences into teaching strategies. This unit will satisfy the Common Core State Standards for Math and Language Arts curriculum. In addition, this unit also addresses the National Education Technology Standards for students, as they will use technology in my lesson plans. Kids use technology to analyze, learn, and explore math concepts. Now sit back, relax, and enjoy the music while I show you the Common Core State Standards for Math and Language Arts with the NETS standards for this unit. This math unit includes several products students will create using technology that addresses specific multiple intelligences. In one product, students will submit a Word document on edmodo.com using a computer with internet access. They will summarize counting strategies that they have used in class and give examples. This meets the comprehension level of Bloom's taxonomy for my students. This product also addresses visual, logical math, kinesthetic, verbal, and intrapersonal intelligences. Also, each day, students will use iPads to show what they have learned using the website blogger.com. They will also be choosing to respond to classmates' questions and comments. This meets the application level of Bloom's taxonomy for my students. This also addresses visual, intrapersonal, interpersonal, verbal, and logical math intelligences. Another product will be creating a Wordle on Wordle.net website. Students will design and construct their own Wordle using math vocabulary that they will learn throughout the unit. This product meets the creating level of Bloom's taxonomy for my students. This also addresses visual, verbal, and kinesthetic intelligences. Students will also create a math poster online at postermywall.com. Students will show a list of place values of three-digit numbers and describe counting strategies they used in class. This product meets the remembering level of Bloom's taxonomy. This also addresses kinesthetic, 
visual, verbal, and logical math intelligences. Students will take a virtual field trip on the National Geographic for Kids.com website. They will find and organize types of animals. They will be categorizing them in groups of twos, fives, and tens, counting them, and recording their findings in a Word document. This product meets the analyzing level of Bloom's taxonomy. It addresses visual, kinesthetic, naturalist, logical math, and verbal intelligences. Students will be assigned to read a math story on an ebook about skip counting using their iPads and will be given an option of creating a report summarizing the story and critiquing it on either PowerPoint, podcast using Audacity software, or on a Word document using a computer. This project meets the evaluating level of Bloom's taxonomy for students, as they will critique the story read and judge how they would rewrite it if they could. This also addresses visual, verbal, kinesthetic, logical math, and interpersonal intelligences. Finally, students will take a test using the computer assessing their knowledge of grouping, counting, place value, and word problems with addition and subtraction. They will submit the test on edmodo.com website. They will apply their understanding, answering questions using knowledge gained throughout the unit. This meets the applying level of Bloom's taxonomy for higher level thinking of my students. This addresses visual, verbal, logical math, kinesthetic, and naturalist intelligences. This class has taught me many benefits to incorporating multiple intelligences into my teaching strategies. Digital age skills are necessary to prepare our students to work and live in our communities. Today we are living in an increasingly digital and global world, and teachers need to keep up with learners in the 21st century. Kids today are using iPhones, tablets, internet, and social networking sites, among others, and we as teachers need to address this in our schools. Kids are unique and differ in the way they learn best. By incorporating multiple intelligences with technology and instruction, more kids will have the freedom to learn in the way they were meant to learn best. This means they will be successful if given the chance to shine using their own intelligence to learn the curriculum. This will increase student engagement and motivation in the classroom, which is extremely important. Textbooks in this class give helpful information as to which types of computer software will address a specific intelligence, and this is empowering for myself and other students as it arms us with the proper tools to teach, using various types of software effectively. Using technology and multiple intelligence information of my students will help me to become a more effective teacher and will improve the learning abilities of my students. They can make connections to concepts easier and become more motivated in the process. Today's students deserve the best chance to become successful, and with this way to tailor education to each student, they can be successful.